What enduring qualities do you think make the 1958 movie The Young Lions an everlasting symbol of the industry? While we each have our cherished memories associated with this film, it's fascinating to explore what makes it stand the test of time. The Young Lions is not just a movie, it's a cinematic journey through the lives of three soldiers during World War II, exploring their experiences, beliefs, and the moral dilemmas they face. Let's delve into this classic and discover why it continues to captivate audiences, generation after generation. Now, we'd love to hear your stories and memories related to this movie. Do you have a cherished memory or a personal experience associated with The Young Lions? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Your perspective adds depth to the appreciation of this timeless piece of cinema. Did you know that The Young Lions is based on the novel of the same name by Erwin Shaw? It brings to life the characters of Christian Diesel, Michael Whiteacker, and Noah Ackerman, portrayed by Marlon Brando, Montgomery Clift, and Dean Martin, respectively. These three actors, each at the height of their careers, delivered powerful performances that left an indelible mark on the film industry. The movie also touches on the complexities of human nature and the moral ambiguities faced by individuals in wartime. It raises thought-provoking questions about duty, morality, and the consequences of one's choices during times of conflict. The enduring appeal of the young lions lies not only in its stellar cast and thought-provoking themes, but also in its ability to resonate with audiences across generations. As we explore this classic film, we invite you to share your most cherished memories and personal experiences related to it. We would love to hear your stories and insights in the comments below. Montgomery Clift, a prominent actor of his time, had some strong words about Marlon Brando's performance in the 1958 movie The Young Lions. Clift didn't hold back, calling Brando a slob and suggesting that Brando was utilizing only a fraction of his acting talent during the filming. This candid critique sheds light on the dynamics and opinions among the cast members during the making of the film. It also underscores the high expectations and standards set for actors in this era. Interestingly, the young lions featured a notable prop in the form of a poorly designed $20 bill, which played a significant role in various sequences of the movie. The peculiar appearance of this prop was due to the film industry's adherence to a rule that prohibited the use of real money or realistically designed counterfeit money in film photography. This rule aimed to prevent counterfeiting but was increasingly disregarded as time went on, as seen in other films like The Man with the Golden Arm and The Upcoming Psycho. Additionally, actress Lillian Montevecchi, who portrayed Frank Oise in the film, had a noteworthy connection to two iconic comedians. She appeared in The Young Lions with Dean Martin, and the previous year, she acted alongside Jerry Lewis in The Sad Sack. This collaboration with two comedy legends immediately after they had parted ways as a duo adds an interesting dimension to her career and filmography. In summary, The Young Lions not only delivered a powerful performance from its cast, but it also featured unique elements such as Montgomery Clift's candid critique, the unusual $20 bill prop, and Lillian Montevecchi's associations with Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis. These aspects contribute to the film's historical significance and the intriguing dynamics of its production. The Young Lions, a 1958 film, stirred controversy for its sympathetic portrayal of a Nazi character. The decision to depict the character in a more lenient light was intentional, driven by Marlon Brando, director Edward Dimitrich, and screenwriter Edward Anhalt. They believed this approach better represented the German people as a whole, coinciding with Hollywood's interest in the post-WWII German market. Notably, Dean Martin replaced Tony Randall in a pivotal role, solidifying his solo film career. MCAS insistence on casting Martin in the film led to a grand jury case that eroded the agency's power in Hollywood. The Young Lions remains a significant work, sparking debates about character portrayals in cinema. The Young Lions is a 1958 movie that's often noted for its interesting behind-the-scenes details. One such fact is that Dean Martin and Montgomery Clift, who played pivotal roles in the film, were considered by some to be too old for their characters. This raises questions about the casting choices and the impact it had on the movie's overall performance. The film is also credited with marking Dean Martin's comeback after his split with Jerry Lewis, making it a significant point in his career. Additionally, at the time of production, Maximilian Schell, 
who portrayed Captain Hardenberg, faced the challenge of not being able to speak English, and had to learn his lines phonetically from Marlon Brando, who played Lieutenant Christian Diesel. This unique linguistic hurdle adds an intriguing layer to the movie's production. These aspects make The Young Lions a movie worth discussing both for its on-screen drama and the compelling stories that unfolded behind the scenes. Marlon Brando's bleached blonde hair in the young lions garnered significant attention. He dyed it to fit his Aryan Nazi German character, creating a buzz around the film. This bold move by Brando added to the movie's intrigue and drew the audience's focus. The striking transformation of Brando's appearance for this role not only showcased his dedication as an actor, but also stirred conversations in the press and among moviegoers. People couldn't help but wonder about the commitment and depth of character he was willing to explore to bring his roles to life. Brando's portrayal of the German soldier in The Young Lions was already highly anticipated, given his reputation as one of the finest actors of his generation. His choice to undergo such a dramatic physical transformation only heightened the excitement surrounding the film. Viewers were not only drawn to the gripping storyline and the performances of the cast, but also to the curiosity of how Brando's character would fit into the larger narrative. In the end, Marlon Brando's decision to bleach his hair for this role added an extra layer of authenticity to his character and showcased his dedication to his craft. It's a testament to his ability to fully inhabit the roles he took on, making his performances all the more memorable. The bleached blonde hair in The Young Lions became a defining aspect of the film, and is still discussed today as a bold choice that paid off remarkably well. The Young Lions is a 1958 movie based on the novel of the same name by author Erwin Shaw. The novel draws from Shaw's personal experiences during World War II in Europe. Marlon Brando, a notable actor in the film, based his portrayal of a Nazi German character on a blonde-haired boy with a perfect nose he had seen in a German film, as mentioned in his autobiography. Director Edward Dimitrich received a Best Director nomination from the Directors Guild of America for this film. However, he was not nominated for an Oscar. This omission was due to his controversial past as a member of the Hollywood Ten, a group of filmmakers blacklisted in the 1940s for their communist sympathies. These aspects provide insights into the background of the Young Lions, touching on the source material and the film's cast and director. It's a notable movie from 1958 with a connection to real-life experiences and a controversial history in the Hollywood industry. As we draw the curtains on our cinematic journey through the unforgettable realms of the young lions, let us pause and reflect on the timeless essence of this cinematic masterpiece. This iconic film, directed by Edward Dimitrich, brings to life the poignant experiences of three soldiers from different walks of life, weaving a profound narrative that transcends time and space. While we've explored the trials and tribulations of Christian Diesel, Noah Ackerman, and Michael Whitaker in the backdrop of World War II, it's your turn now to dive into the reservoir of your own memories and thoughts about this classic. What emotions did it stir within you? Did it evoke nostalgia or did it reveal new perspectives on life and love? Perhaps you were captivated by the outstanding performances of Marlon Brando, Montgomery Clift, and Dean Martin, or maybe the film's thought-provoking themes struck a chord with you. The Young Lions is more than just a movie, it's a journey that invites you to delve deep into your own connection with its characters and storylines. So, I encourage you to share your favorite memories and thoughts about this film with us. Let your voice resonate and let us all be part of this cinematic conversation. Thank you for your time and interest in exploring the depths of The Young Lions with us. Your unique perspective and memories are what make the world of cinema truly magical. We look forward to hearing your thoughts and will continue to bring you more enriching experiences in the world of film. Until next time, keep those memories alive and keep the conversations flowing. This is the final scene of our discussion.